We saw in our last video that to factorize a quadratic, like x squared plus 10x plus 16, we first write out a pair of brackets with an x in each. Then we find all the factor pairs of the integer term, so the 16 in this case, and we see which of these pairs add together to make the coefficient of our x term, which is the positive 10 in front of our x. So in this case, that would be the 2 and the 8, because 2 plus 8 equals 10. Then the last step is to put these numbers into our brackets so that we have x plus 2 and x plus 8. And that there is a factorized form of our quadratic. In today's video though, we're going to look at questions like these ones, where the coefficient of the x squared term, so this number in front of the x squared, is something more than 1, like 2 or 3 or 4. To see how they work, let's have a go at factorizing this one. 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. Like with normal quadratics, the first thing you want to do is write out your brackets. But this time we need to put a 2 here in front of the first x. Because these two x terms have to multiply together to make this 2x squared term. So one of them is going to have to be a 2x and the other one just an x. Next, just like normal, we need to find the factor pairs of our integer term. So the factor pairs of 10, which are 1 and 10, 2 and 5, negative 1 and negative 10, and negative 2 and negative 5. Now comes the hard bit. Just like with normal quadratics, we need to find which factor pair adds together to make the coefficient of the x term. So positive 9 in this case. However, because there's this 2 in front of one of our x's, one of the numbers in the factor pair will have to be multiplied by 2 before we add them together. For example, if we wanted to check the factor pair 1 and 10, we'd need to do 2 times 1 plus 10, which is 12, or 1 plus 2 times 10, which is 21. So as you can see, in both of these cases, we multiplied one of the factor pairs by 2 before adding it to the other one. Unfortunately, neither of these combinations work though, because we need 9, not 12 or 21. So we're going to have to move on to the next factor pair of 2 and 5. If we try 2 times 2 plus 5, that is 9. So this is the combination that we're going to have to use. And because it's this 2 that we multiplied by 2, we need to put the 2 in the second bracket so that it will get multiplied by our 2x term when this is expanded out. And then we can put the plus 5 in the other bracket. If we want to double check that this is correct and that we put the factors in the correct brackets, we can expand the brackets out and see if it makes the quadratic that we want. So 2x times x is 2x squared, 2x times 2 is 4x, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 2 is 10. Then we can combine these two x terms to make 9x, and we can see that we'll have 2x squared plus 9x plus 10, which is what we started with in the question, so we know that we've done it correctly. Let's try doing the same thing for this one and factorize the expression 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. The first thing we want to do is write out our brackets. And this time, one of them is going to need to have a 3x in, and the other one just an x. Because remember, they need to multiply together to make the 3x squared term. Next, you need to list all the factor pairs of the integer term negative 8. So positive 1 and negative 8, negative 1 and positive 8, positive 2 and negative 4, and negative 2 and positive 4. Once you've written these out, you need to see which of these pairs adds together to make the coefficient of the x term, which in this case is positive 10. 
but remember that one of the numbers in the factor pair will have to be multiplied by 3 before you add them together. This bit can sometimes take a while, and it's really just a process of trial and error where you work through the factor pairs one by one. So for this first factor pair, you'll try 3 times 1 plus negative 8, which is negative 5, and 1 plus 3 times negative 8, which is negative 23. So because neither of these gave us the positive 10 that we were looking for, we can cross out this factor there. Next, we're going to have to do the same thing for the next pair, which if we did all the workings would end up giving us 5 and 23. And as these aren't the positive 10 that we're looking for, we know that it's not that factor pair either. Then for the 2 and negative 4, we'd end up with 2 and negative 10, which is almost right, but remember that we need a positive 10 rather than a negative 10. So this factor pair doesn't work either, and we can cross out that one too. So because we've now ruled out all the other factor pairs, we know that it should be this last one of negative 2 and 4. So if we times the negative 2 by 3, we get negative 2 times 3 plus 4, which is negative 2. So not the 10 we're looking for. But if we try to times the 4 by 3, we get negative 2 plus 4 times 3, which is 10. So that's the combination that we want. This means that lastly, all we have to do is put these numbers into the right brackets. So we're going to want to put the 4 over here because it needs to be multiplied by the 3x term. And then the negative 2 must go over here. As you might have noticed, this one took ages because the correct factor pair was the very last one we tried. This happens sometimes and it isn't really a problem. You just have to accept that some questions will take longer than others. Once you get used to them though, you can start to see which factor pairs are most likely to work. And so you can try those ones first. Anyway, that's everything for this video though. So hope you found it useful and cheers for watching.